What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have gone ahead and released another showdown and it is going to be between Manchester United and Atletico Madrid and as you guys clearly can see, the United player is Bailly and the Atletico Madrid player is actually Paul. But yeah, we're going to be reviewing Bailly because there is some really solid Premier League centre-backs this year. We have Team of the Year, Ruben Diaz, we got the honourable mentions, Rudiger, we got your boy Flashback, Varane, so I want to know if this Bailly card is actually going to be top three. But yeah, he's got eight full pace with 76 dribbling 87 defending 86 physicals with a 71 passing as well he's a six foot one player with medium high work rates three star skill moves and a three star weak foot now if we are talking about a chem style i've decided to go for the shadow the shadow is the clear and obvious chem style to go for like you don't need to touch this guy's physicals it being 91 strength and 92 aggression that is more than enough on a center back so you might as well just try to give him as much pace as possible so you are giving him 90 acceleration with 97 sprint speed very good for center back when it comes down to the pace but is it as good as someone like Varane? Obviously not. That 95 acceleration is what you're really, really looking for in a centre-back because you know he's going to be able to catch up to literally everyone. With Bailly only having, only by the way, having 90 acceleration, he may struggle time to time to catch up to someone like Mbappe. Now, the passing ability on Bailly, not bad. I can tell by just looking at the stats, the short passing is obviously good. Those little simple passes should be perfect. But when you're trying to go for maybe an overtop through ball in behind the defensive line, 67 vision and 73 long passing is not enough it most likely will not end well now the dribbling section he's got nice really nice reactions and composure that's the two that you're really looking for on a center back the reactions being high and the composure being high everything else there though looks okay i'm not expecting by to feel amazing on the ball but i'm not expecting him to feel bad either because he's got 77 agility with 70 balance 73 ball control and 75 dribbling now this is where it gets a little bit tasty, let's say, right? We have got some insane defensive stats with the Shadow Chem style. We are talking about 97 interceptions, 91 heading accuracy, 89 defensive awareness, 98 standing tackling with the 99 slide tackling as well. I'm expecting him to be a defensive beast. And he's also got 90 jumping as well, which means he will also give you the heading ability. Like that 90 jumping, that 91 heading accuracy, while also being six for one, is always going to be nice. Unfortunately, though, he hasn't got the power header trait. It would have been a bit nicer, but hey, it is what it is. You can't ask for everything. Now, the stamina. That is a... That is definitely going to be an issue. Like, stamina in that centre-back position, it isn't a huge deal, right? You can probably deal with, like, 75, 76. That is perfectly fine. 71 is really, really low. Now, when it comes down to the links with Bailly, you can see who I've got in the team. De Gea, Varane, Luke Shaw. You have got yourself some amazing, amazing players around Bailly. So, yeah, the links are absolutely incredible. Now, when it comes down to positions, I'm playing him in one position and one position only. It is going to be that centre-back position in a full one to one 2 narrow. So, let's get into the games. He's going to make that through. Well, he is by. This is a real test, man. Come on, use that pace. Use that. Okay, I was about to say use that strength. He didn't really do it, though. Like, I thought he was going to get himself into, like, a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder situation there. But clearly not. He just actually caught up to him and put in a very solid tackle. I'm just going to cover the edge of the box there. There you go, man. That was a good step. Nice little dribble there. I'm just going to continue going. Should we brawl roll this? I want to see how he actually feels on the ball. And he's actually going to get pushed out the way. Well, I believe it was team of the year, Jorginho. Look at Bailly actually tracking that right there. He's done really well. I don't think Luke Shaw is actually get, going to get there, but Bailly does really well, man. I'm just going to keep it simple and just play it to Luke Shaw. No extra pass, surely. I'm actually going to step up here. Go for a slide tackle. Is it going to be clean? It is going to be clean, man. The way he wrapped his uh, foot around the ball as well, that's how you know it was meant to be like a possession-based tackle there. And that's a really, really solid tackle. A tackle that I would say needed to happen because we might have, we might have actually conceded there. This guy loves a little one too. I knew he was going to turn there though. And Bailly actually doesn't get it. Can we go for the slide tackle? We can, man. I'm really surprised Bailly actually just didn't grab that ball on the first attempt. Like really, really surprised. But yeah, well, he did well to recover and obviously put in that slide tackle. I really want to go in for a slide tackle, but I have to be careful, man. He's on the yellow card. Honestly, if he can turn quickly here. That's a nice little turn. All right. You can definitely tell it isn't amazing. I can definitely, definitely tell that. But it isn't bad. Like, you can tell the, the ball control is actually quite nice on him there. Come on, bye. Come on, bye. Catch up to him. Go on. There you go, man. 
It's a good tackle. Really good tackle. And I just used his uh, shielding ability there to calm down the play. And I've lost the ball, Luke Shaw. Oh, we got it. Well, he's actually tracking that pretty well. I'm still not controlling him, man. Look how well he's actually tracking him. And that's because of that high defensive awareness and the hail. He's going to pull out a really nice save. I just wanted to see, though, if Bailly was actually going to track that run the whole way. The whole way, sorry. And he actually does well to win that header. And I thought we was going to concede. Is this guy going to bring out the keeper on a corner? He isn't. All right, Bailly, this is your opportunity, man. Near post. Come on, man. you got good jumping. It's actually... Go on. Oh, my... He had like a weird animation to actually get himself around the ball and actually header it. But it still wasn't too bad, I guess. It's just him leaning away there. I doubt he was ever going to go in. Going to hit it towards the near post again. Maybe get in front of the guy. Hold up. This is actually a proper challenge. Oh, okay. I don't know who he actually lost the header to. But I was kind of hoping, obviously, with his kind of jumping ability, he would do a little bit better than what he did. And I did try to hit him with a roulette there with Bai. But he just didn't come off. I'm going to step here. I'm not going to allow him pass. No shot. There you go, man. Good interception. Hold off. Little R1 dribble and play it simple. Don't want to overdo it. Like you can clearly tell with Bailly's dribbling ability, you really don't want to overdo it in those kind of areas because 100% you'll lose the ball and you'll end up conceding. I'm just going to cover this middle, making sure he doesn't really get it. And Bailly reacts really quickly to actually intercept that ball. Usually with players or centre-backs, let's say, with uh, low reactions, they don't tend to get that ball because they can't react quickly enough to it. But with Bailly obviously having the reactions he has, he can do it. It's a good little cutback there. I'm just going to push towards him here. After him doing that Elastigo as well, I'm always going to push towards it. And we do put in a very solid tackle there. I'm going to push here once again, man. Why he's definitely one of those players that you don't have to like hold back with. You know, you can just get straight into the player. There's no need to really wait. And his transition speed, I must admit, it's something I'm really impressed about. How quick this guy can go left and right, putting in these tackles, putting in these interceptions as well, just back to back to back. So Zebio maybe, we push there. There you go, man. By using that strength as well to just easily get in front of a Zebio and actually hold him off. And this is going to be a nice switch as well, man. Those kind of passes, I'm expecting him to make. The passes I'm not expecting him to make is uh is the ones that go in behind their defensive line, right? The through balls. We're going to go back stick because he is actually brought out the keeper towards the near post. Come on, by. Come on. Actually, we'll tap it across. No, against Cannavaro as well, man. Cannavaro is a small, a very, very small player. So I am definitely expecting Bai to outhead him, but clearly he doesn't there. He's in behind there, man. I'm just going to push out towards him. I don't think he's going to go for the early pass. Or he actually did, but it doesn't matter. Bai is there. Great transition. Once again, man, really, really good to just go over to Zebul there and put in a very nice tackle. He's just going to run, isn't he? I might put in a slide tackle here, see what he's going to do. And it's once again a really good slide tackle. Usually when they run straight off kickoff, that's what I do, man. I try to take the play out because there's no way I'm about to concede kickoff. Just straight after me scoring as well. And I thought he was going to volley it. It's a good little cutback. But that's a bad touch, though. And that's when we take advantage. Hold him off. Hold him off. There you go. Keep it calm and just pass away. Really good shielding. I'm actually going to send Gelson Martins on a run. I'm going to see if this through ball is actually going to work out. Let's see if we can perfectly time it. I mean, it's not a bad pass. He's onside as well, man. Go on. Let's see if we can actually score this. Someone going to give me an option? Nice. No, please. Ball roll. Nah, Canavara is literally on us. But that is not a bad pass. He's going to continue running, isn't he? Come on, by. Use your strength. Use your pace as well. Hold off his air buell. And just keep it calm and go for the switch of play. Great defensive awareness. By the time I switched to him, he was already tracking him. I'm just going to go towards him here. Push towards him here. We're by. Nice, really good animation. You see how he drops down to the ground there to make sure that he can 100% get that block in. That is a great animation for that kind of for that kind of occasion. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Bai. We didn't get a goal and we didn't even come out with a single assist. I don't really care about the assist. It's just not coming out of a goal is disappointing, especially for someone that's got 90 jumping with 91 heading accuracy while also being six foot one. He was losing headers to Canavaro. And that is something I was really, really surprised about. So yeah, his jumping ability or like, let's say his heading ability just in general, it definitely isn't as good as someone like Ferran. Rudiger or even a team of the year Ruben Diaz now the one thing I definitely would say I was impressed about with this card is the animation choices like you can tell the 87 reactions really really come into play there were certain interceptions he needs to react quickly towards he was doing it there were certain blocks that he needed to react quickly towards he was getting himself into the right animation so yeah animation choices with Bailly absolutely amazing the one thing I was kind of scared about was the pace 
it being 90 acceleration, you know we match up against Itchy and Mbappe near enough every single game, right? So is it going to be a player that's able to catch up to someone like Mbappe every time? Obviously not. It's just he actually did quite impress me with the pace because he was catching up to players like Uzebu, play, catching up to players like Numbers Up Felix. And that is something I wasn't expecting too much, but he was actually doing really, really well. But just know his pace definitely isn't as good as someone like Varane. Like Varane, this guy, this guy really, really gets outpaced. With Bailly, you can definitely tell his pace is not going to be enough to catch up to someone like Mbappe every single time. He, he will allow some players in behind time to time. Now, I want to talk about this guy's physicals because his strength was incredible. Genuinely incredible. And something that I really did enjoy as well was the dribbling not being that great. And what the strength would allow me to do is if I'm in a tight situation, all I need to do is hold L trigger, shield off the player, take my time and decide what I want to go ahead and do next. It's really nice to see that 91 strength on this buy -E card because it really does cover up for the dribbling and how bad it actually is. Now, this card is going for 190k. It's expensive, right? But with the links he has with, you know, De Gea, Varane and Luke Shaw, I definitely do believe it is worth it. We have to keep in mind as well, it's a showdown. It can go ahead and get a further plus two upgrade. Now, is he guaranteed to get the upgrade? Obviously not. This is Manchester United we're talking about, right? The form they're currently on, who knows what's going to happen? And with Atletico Madrid with the form they're on right now, who knows what's going to happen in this game? Atletico Madrid just lost to the to uh, bottom of the table in the La Liga. I don't know what's happening in this game. Literally have no idea. I'm hoping, me being obviously a Manchester United fan and all, I'm hoping Manchester United do come out with a W and Bai goes ahead and gets that plus two upgrade. Do I believe this card is better than Team Rio, Ruben Diaz, uh, Flashback Varane, or even an honorable mention as Rudiger? I do not believe so. Now, where would he go in the defender's tier list? He's not an S tier card, but for me, he definitely is an A plus tier. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.